this is pedantic, but we got to be careful with terms because they didn't have designs on the internet because Bill Gates didn't think the internet was mainstream. They believed there would be a network future coming. They figured it would come around the year 2000, maybe 2001, 2002, when broadband, they, they had all the pro projections and things like that. They knew when the technology was coming. They figured it was going to come through your cable, mm -hmm. uh, probably be delivered to you f through your TV. This <clears throat> um, information superhighway they really thought was going to be delivered in the living room via smart TVs. Mm -hmm. What they didn't anticipate, because Bill Gates knew what the internet was. He, uh, uh, today, uh, Paul Allen uh, died uh, last night. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, when they were working on early parts of Microsoft, um, they were in different parts of the country. They were sending the files back together on the internet. So he knew what it was, but he thought it was for nerds. What he didn't anticipate is that the internet was good enough that they didn't have to wait for broadband to come. And so Netscape becoming this this company that's taking off that has this blockbuster IPO that suddenly has 30, then 100 million installed base users and things like that, um, opens his eyes to like, oh, okay, we're, we're not going to wait. This is now. And what, the, what the, the other reason he wanted to wait is if they had delivered it their way, it would have been proprietary and, you know, um, with, with their... Uh, it would be safe for consumers. It would be, you know, sand all the rough e edges sanded down, but also they'd be able to take a cut of everything. So the fact that the internet and the web came along as an open standard was antithetical to obviously everything that Gates believed in. Also, Windows 95. You know, we right. didn't, I mean, they, they were at the peak of their, they had 100%. just started to, to, to really become successful um, and dominate the market right. with software. Right. And that and that and and I and I want to ask you about the role of Windows 95 and the control of the operating system mm -hmm. in terms of how they tried to take control of this this early nascent web with Internet Explorer mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. efforts. But I want to take a quote from your book. It's a little long, but it relates to Bill Gates because like I said he just he comes in and out of this uh, of your book. I didn't in anticipate writing so much about Microsoft, because again, most of my mm -hmm. work has been in 2000. Microsoft has been in a decade in the wilderness. Everything that everyone was doing, especially in the 90s, was either against Microsoft or anticipating what they were going to do. It was amazing. Well, did what was it? What did Mark Andreessen say in a news article or somewhere? He took a, he took a jab at uh, that we're going to turn Microsoft into a set of poorly debugged device drivers. How Windows, <laughs> Windows into it. Yeah. How and it, there, there's a sense, uh, and I love. There's another great quote. I don't have it here, but it's of Steve Ballmer. They gave somebody the position of like chief internet person mm -hmm, at Microsoft, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Ballmer like burst into his office. JL, he's like, yeah. yeah, he's like, what is this internet? shit he's yeah, like i've yeah, got my yeah. clients asking me yeah. what's that what was that what was that what was the culture like at microsoft between bill and uh, and it's, steve and everything was it it's 100 percent generational though because it's it, you know uh gates is famously he was born in uh 55 same year as steve jobs so in the early 90s the kids the the people in at, at microsoft in their late 20s early 30 early early 30s the ben slivkas he's in the book um they're just you know 10 years younger than what bill gates is and what steve Ballmer is and so these it, it, these assumptions we all suffer from this especially as we get older but like this is the way the world is and you can't see it you always got to keep those kids around to Absolutely. let you know and the jay allards tell bill gates listen this is real we got to get on it when did bill send this memo that i'm going to quote now the one um, that he said about netscape uh, being a competitor yeah, it, so it would have been late 94, early 95. So he, he sent out this memo, and then I want you to give us context for yeah. it. I have gone through, this is Bill Gates now sending this memo out to, to all his Microsoft staff. Mm -hmm. I have gone through several, several stages of increasing my views on its importance. Now I assign the internet the highest level of importance. In this memo, I want to make clear that our focus on the internet is crucial to every part of our business. The internet is the most important single development to come along since uh, since the IBM PC was introduced in 1981. A new competitor born on the internet, in quotes, is Netscape. Their browser is dominant with 70% usage share, allowing them to determine which network extensions will catch on. They are pursuing a multi-platform strategy. We have to match and beat their offerings. I love this quote because it shows, first of all, just how seriously Bill took this, how incredibly competitive he was, and his mindset around market share and dominance. There was a series of um, 
efforts of people within Microsoft who I've talked to on the Internet History Podcast, Ben Slivka, Brad Silverberg, <clears throat> Jay Allard, that they're trying to convince Bill what I what I said before that um, – we can't wait, Bill, for this information superhighway that we're going to brand and own and everything. This is happening now. We need to get serious about this now. Multiple times they would they would you know have retreats where they would have him browse the web and things like this. So it was a series of trying to talk him into it. And multiple people from Microsoft have, have said to me, they're like, you know, we, we just when he finally got it, it's great that he got it and went whole hog on it. But it was a period of like 12 to 18 months of them trying to convince him. And again, because they're at their peak. So again, it's the innovator's dilemma thing. It's it's that the Bill Gates wants to sit back and be like, hey, we won. Right. So he does. <laughs> he doesn't want to be told, by the way, there's this whole new battle coming and we got to be ready for it. Isn't there something similar? And I want to get us to track here, but it, I feel like that happened with music, mm -hmm. mobile music for Bill. And mm -hmm. it also happened with. The uh, the mobile. Carrier, I just I just did a phone. piece uh, this week about because um, Google Plus just died, about the time period when all of a sudden uh, everyone in Google has to drop what they're doing. Every product has to be social. Social has to be a part of Gmail, of YouTube, of everything. Because uh, there was a guy that wrote a great tweet thread about that. It happens all the time. The next new competitor comes around behind you. It happened at Facebook when Twitter came around because they think oh man is that really instead of just having your friends connected maybe that broadcast you can follow anyone so it happens all the time to tech companies I, you know it's interesting i remember this interview that bill gates gave he was i remember him being very annoyed mm. at uh the success of the ipod yeah and <laughs> the fact that they, they won't let have... his kids use them yeah, <laughs> yeah something yeah. like that and i remember him being interviewed and he, and he pulled out his cell phone he's like why would i need an ipod i've got a cell phone yeah. i can store yeah. you know it's it, he didn't you know what was so brilliant about steve is he understood the distinction between the technology and the experience of the technology mm -hmm. from the user perspective mm -hmm. right and he he he, he, he was able to make that transition of the iPod and and really bring in the iPhone and Bill didn't you know didn't seem to catch that and he always says Bill always says if you opened up my head it's just software 